In 2016, Gary broke his neck, which left him paralyzed from the neck down. Before his injury, he was active and engaged in life. Gary skied, he boated, and he loved to ride motorcycles. He was a physicist and was a manager of environment, safety, and health at Argonne National Laboratory. Fortunately, shortly after his injury, Gary had slight movement in some of his leg muscles. This means that his injury was severe, but incomplete. That means that there were still a few nerve fibers going through the injured part of the spinal cord in his neck. This allows you to improve with work. Gary spent three months in rehabilitation in Texas. He went home to Idaho in a wheelchair. Uh, January 2016, I fell and broke my neck. The prognosis was I'd be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. And uh, I've been working at therapy and the doctors have said that I would show improvement the most in the next two years. And then after that, it would slow down if not stop. But by going to physical therapy and working at it, I've continually seen improvement and I still am. Yeah, and we're now in 2023. So if you persevere and do the therapy as requested, you will see improvement. What sorts of things are you doing to improve? Uh, I'm going to physical therapy and doing full body workouts, trying to improve my muscle tone and uh, also my balance, been working on that. I've been going to occupational therapy to work on my hands to try to get the flexibility back in them so I can go back to my guitar. I've been able to play the piano because of it. Not like I used to, but pretty good. And uh, I hope to get to the guitar by December. Nice. Can you open and close your hands a bit? Yes. Okay. Very nice. Got a little stiff.